This is the Logitech MX Master 2S. The mouse is made for productivity and the only reason I brought it. I actually wanted to buy the 3S for some time but the price was just too much and this is where I think the MX Master 2S might be the perfect mouse for so many people out there, especially if they're on a tight budget. The only reason why I brought this mouse is because it was on sale on the early prime access for £36 and the 3 and 3S was still full price at around £100 to £120 and I just thought that was just right way too much. So I bit the bullet and brought the 2S even though I still wanted the 3 just because the price was just so appealing. However, just after a few days of using it, I've decided to just save my money and keep the MX Master 2S for foreseeable future. The reason? Well, the only real differences I've actually seen online are the design changes, which are probably for the better, especially the silent feature clicking on the 3S. I think that's a game changer. However, the mouse still functions the exact same as the 3 and 3S. It's just like design changes, like a bigger scroll wheel, different button placements for easy access, and a faster scroll wheel, for example. If you're interested in actually purchasing this mouse, I have got a link in the description below for this mouse and also the 3 and 3S. And the side scroll wheel is the reason why I brought this mouse. There's so many mouses out there that have all the features that this mouse has, such as the MX Master Anywhere, but they do not have this side scroll wheel. And if you download the actual Logitech Options software, you can map every single button on the mouse to do anything you want in any program. So I have actually set the scroll wheel to move across my timeline in DaVinci Resolve when I'm actually editing videos, and that feature is the only reason why I wanted this mouse in the first place. This way I can actually speed up my productivity workflow when video editing, and this is why this is the best mouse out there for this purpose. Unfortunately, I actually wanted to map the side scroll wheel to get a keystroke assignment so I can actually move the sliders in Lightroom with it. However, for some reason, it looks like that feature is only available on the 3 and the 3S, which is a little bit annoying because that's another reason why I wanted this mouse. And that don't matter anyway because like photo editing is quite easy just by moving the mouse anyway. I just thought it would have been a nice cool feature for me to use, but that's just something that I can maybe upgrade to on the 4 when that comes out. The other buttons that I've actually mapped in DaVinci Resolve are the two side buttons. The top one I've set to the key C, which is the cut tool, and the bottom one I've set to V, which is like the cursor at all. So once I get used to it, I can actually scroll across my timeline, cut, delete, and go back to the normal cursor, all with my mouse so I don't have to use my keyboard if I don't want to. Literally, while editing this video, I've already changed the mapping of this mouse, but the other one, what I already said, doesn't change. Like, you can still do that and it still works fine. I'll just, for while editing, I thought I'll change the two buttons to the right and left arrow keys, because my left hand is on the space bar anyway, so this next to the C and the V. But what I always find out is when I want to get that fine-tuned, like, actual place where I want to cut I'm always getting my hand off the mouse and then pressing the keys with my right arm or even if I try it with my left arm it's just a little bit uncomfortable so I've actually changed the buttons now to the right and arrow key so I can literally press the C um, key with my left hand and then use them buttons there to find the perfect place that I actually want to cut using them buttons and then I can press the V and then cut it that way and then it still works so much more seamlessly for me however the other way still really worked as well for me it was just the arrows that I thought it so I've already changed that and that is the actual productivity features that I actually wanted with this mouse just so I can really start editing videos so much faster just for my YouTube videos as well so I can like maybe pump more shorts out pump this out just because it makes it so much quicker when I actually am video editing that I can do everything on this mouse the main scroll wheel on this mouse is also amazing no more slow scrolling on websites as you can get through a thousand pages a second with this mouse when you're actually out scrolling it's basically got an infinite scrolling feature have a look at this You can also press the button below it so it can act like a normal slow scrolling mouse just like you're used to until you actually scroll fast then it actually goes to like really really fast like I just showed you then. You can also press that button again to change it to flow free and scroll wheel all the time so it's not actually stopping when you are scrolling. So on the bottom of your mouse you've got your switch at the top to turn on and off and then below that you've actually got a button to actually change what computer or laptop you're connected to so as you can see it says one two three so you can connect up to three different systems at once and you can actually change them just by by pressing this one button so it instant connects and ready to whenever you switch systems for example your home laptop might be set to one and then if you go to work your work computer you can set to two so all you do if you bring this mouse to work all you got to do is press that button to number two and it will instantly work over bluetooth when you actually are connected to your laptop or computer you also have a micro usb connector to charge the device which is not the best because the 3 and 3s now has a usb c cable but with the battery life that actually lasts up to 70 days you won't actually have to worry about charging this mouse a lot so i don't think the cable matters at all just because of how much battery life this mouse actually has. Overall this mouse is also super 
comfy and it feels so nice when you're actually holding it and actually using it. And it's quite heavy as well, coming in at 149 grams compared to this other mouse that I have, which is 111 grams. Not an insane difference, but you can actually really feel it. And I actually think this is a good thing in my opinion because it's built so well and it's built to last. After having such a good time with this mouse in the last few days, I actually feel no reason to actually upgrade, which was my plan when I actually ordered it and just sell the actual 2S instead and buy the 3S when it becomes on sale in a couple months time, maybe for Black Friday. I'll see what the actual number four has whenever that comes out. I'm not sure when that will be, probably in a couple years time, because I feel like the two to the four would be an even bigger difference because that's like a 10 year gap. So maybe when it comes to that, I'll actually see, but I'll only really get that on like a discount anyway, because I don't really want to be spending 120 pounds on a mouse, even though I'd say it's 100% completely worth it for the productivity. I just don't personally don't really feel like I want to do that, especially when like, if you're on a tight budget, like I mentioned earlier, and if you can buy this mouse on a Black Friday deal or a Prime Day sale like I did for £36 instead of spending £120 on the 3 because that wasn't discounted at all then I really do suggest if you're on a tight budget you go for the 2S rather than the 3 mainly for these reasons like I said like there's no actual crazy differences apart from the design features like if you're going from a 2 to a 3 then yeah it might actually be different because you might not like the button placements you might not like the clicking you might like the side and clicking you want the 3S for example something like that but if you are like on a tight budget but you really want a nice mouse to actually up your productivity if you can find this mouse even like at its normal price i think you can get it for about 50 quid maybe 70 quid or something like that even at that compared to the 100 and 120 quid then i really do think you should go for this one rather than that because it's basically the same mouse apart from the design changes to make it comfortable the thing what the logitech actually done they made the perfect mouse anyway in functionality all they have to do is redefine some of the like button placements and the scroll wheels and stuff like that just to make it even more appealing to people and more easier but for me, if you've never used one of these mouses before, this is going to be amazing anyway. So if you are on a budget, I really do suggest you buy this mouse anyway, just because it's just worth it. Like £36 for this mouse is an absolute steal. Like I said earlier, I do have a link in the description below for this mouse and then also the 3 and 3S if you are interested in buying it. So if you actually want to go and purchase it yourself, which I highly recommend you do, the link will be in the description below. Leave your comments down below on your thoughts. Do you have the 2S already or do you have the 3? Don't you have any and what do you think of this video? Do you actually think this mouse else it's worth it or do you think I should, you should go ahead and just get the free or do you think I should have just got the free I mean personally I think I should have got the free anyway but now using it I'm so happy with this mouse anyway so leave your thoughts down below and what you actually think but anyway that's the end of the video so I hope you did enjoy thank you very much for watching and I guess I'll see you guys on the next video see you later